Hey everybody, Raven here, and today's video is the local coin shop pickups this week, and we've got a lot of really cool stuff on the table, as you guys know. I also went to the Broken Arrow Coin Show, and there's a video on that from just another day ago or so. Been having a lot of fun finding things, and I got really lucky. I was able to find the Red Envelope 1976 Three Coin Bicentennial that you guys were requesting in the last auction. There's a number of people that asked, so I grabbed what I can. I have a stack of those here. And then I have some other stuff that's really cool. We got some Libertads in stock, 1982. Followed by one more 1982. We got a couple 83s, very nice condition. Pretty much BU. Uh, this one has some interesting toning starting on it. This one has some frontal toning on an 83, and the reverse is pretty nice as well. I like that dark tone to it. Then we have a 1985 Libertad, and for those of you that don't already know, some of these items will show up in our auctions, and some of them go into my deep stack. That's why sometimes you'll see one of these videos, and you'll say, hmm, I didn't see that coin again. If you don't see the coin later in the auction, it means it ended up in my deep stack. I was lucky to get my hands on two more of these Remember the Alamo, Alamo Texas uh, rounds. These are really, really cool. Uh, these ones are actually a little more blast white on the obverse, or, or the reverse, and then the side with the eagle has some toning on it again, which is pretty darn cool. I was able to get my hands on the Casa de Monedas 1979 BU. These are gorgeous, and depending on the uh, coin, the reverse, where this pan lines up, these are actually called different varieties because they actually have ones that are closer to the N and then down closer to the the U. I'm trying to find one that has that. They're all kind of going closer to the N on this. Let's see. I know I saw one. And uh, watch. It's going to make a liar out of me, right? Well, that one's a little bit closer to the U. <laughs> all right now we have a 1980 the 1980 might be yes the 1980 check that out how far down the pan is for that compared to the other years had it more closer to the end and so that's really really cool i really like when i can find those and uh we had this coin shown a while back and i brought it back to the coin shop and then I went back in and he gave me an offer I can't refuse so I, I picked it up because this is a very rare coin and a pretty cool one to have Alice in Wonderland the King, Rex King of Carnival and it's three nines fine silver from 1966 so that's a really vintage piece there and I was lucky to get my hands on a stagecoach breaker bar just one but hey at least we got one in the mix then we have a plethora of cool stuff in slabs. We have a first W uncirculated scent, 2019. This is an MS69 red. And all of these are MS69s, I believe, except two. Oh, wait. Two of them are 69s and two of them are 67s. So here's the other 69 red. And then we have two that are 60, 67 reds which probably surprised the person when they got these graded that they were 67s and not at least a 68, 69 because, hey, what do you do, right? You try your best. All right, we got some Roosevelt Dimes in here, 1956, PCS Slab and Certified MS66. A 99S Proof 69 Deep Cam. And a 97S proof 69 deep cam then we got this 1942 mercury dime ms64 by some third party grader who i think this slab might be kind of old um it's called new grade service i've never heard of them but i double checked it is a full split band so this is still a legitimate mercury dime that's why i picked it up you buy the coin and not the holder, remember? That's something that, you know, full split bands is always nice to find. 
Then from Canada, A, eh, we have a, a 2017 PCGS Proof 69 with the 150th anniversary privy right there. Four nines fine. It's got the queen. Most Canadian coins, of course, have the queen, but hey. Another Canada coin. This one's a 2016. One ounce maple leaf with the yin and yang privy. I have not seen a lot of these, and I thought that was a really cool pickup. And on the opposite, it's a reverse proof. Uh, very, very cool. SP, so special proof uh, 69 or production, one of the two. I always mix that up a little bit. We got a 71S PCS Slab and Certified Deep Cameo Silver Ike. Very, very cool. For those of you that are the Ike aficionados, a couple people were asking about getting some nice Lincoln Week scents. So we got a MS64 Red from 1949 Denver Mint. That is a beautiful coin, actually. Sometimes I think they're a little harsh on the grading, in my mind. Here's a 49S in a 66 Red, PCGS slabbed and certified again. And last but not least, 1954S, MS66 Red. Very nice little penny there. Or a cent, I should say. All right, 1925, MS64, NGC slabbed and certified peace dollar in an older holder. This thing is pretty cool. Uh, you can tell by the, the hologram there and the way that it's set up. That's a little bit older holder and very cool find. We have one that's in a little bit newer holder, 1924 MS64. Look at that cartwheeling going on on that beautiful coin, my friends. Very nice find. This one I was really stoked to get. I see a lot of 1923s at an MS63, but this is an MS65, my friends. Very nice, very collectible, of course. We have an 1881S in the older green PCGS slab and certified MS65 Morgan Silver Dollar. And that one is a stunner. Then a 1883O, that's an MS63 NGC slab and certified, but that is still a very nice looking coin. I say that a lot, don't I? Uh, this one here, I don't see a lot of 62s. This is an 85.0, uh, but this one looked nice for a 62. I, and I get why it has a 62, because it's got a little bit of flatness on the breast of the eagle there. But this is a, a New Orleans minted, and they have a lot of weak strikes. So this is one that you might be able to argue to get a better grade for uh, because of that, that reason. And then last but definitely not least, one of my favorites that I picked up recently, 1881S MS65 Proof Like, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very cool. Really nice toning happening around the edge of the coin. And, you know, it's doing the what they call a bullseye toning. It tones from the outside towards the inside like it should. And that is an older fat boy holder. It has that thicker... Uh, white piece in the middle and I can show you here what I'm talking about see how that's just one piece and then that has that white thick thing that's they call these the chunky or fat boy holders very very cool all right ladies and gentlemen like always if you want to correspond it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com our PO box is 721-296 Norman Oklahoma 73070 ravenhawk oh wait like always please make sure to take care of one another and we'll see you real soon Raven Hot Coins, have a great day.